Hey guys, so welcome back. As you can see in the title above, and probably why you clicked on this video, is we are actually working on the back end of my car once again. So I got Cameron here, go follow him. Um, but we're going to essentially do a custom modification to the fab speed exhaust that I already have on the car. May or may not work. It should, in theory, be insane. So right here we're about to pretty much pull off the back end of the exhaust of a resonator on each side. And you'll just have to keep watching to see what we're gonna do to it. You guys, uh, DIY folks out there, this is perfect if you guys have a fab speed exhaust. So once you guys have the rear bumper off, we have it sitting off to the side right here. Um, go ahead and get under it. This is only for fab speed. Super Cup race exhaust. Mm -hmm. Kenny executives from fab speed are watching this right now. Um, this is my idea. <laughs> <laughs> So pretty much holds this bracket for the exhaust onto this little, pretty much this bar that kind of cradles it. And then I'm just going to go to the other side, pull that one off. Once we do that, we should be able to slide off the whole back half of the exhaust, including these resonators, X-pipe, exhaust tips. And then that's where the true modification is going to take place, and it's going to be epic, hopefully. But you can do what I did and take it to a muffler shop and have them cut the OEM exhaust if you're comfortable with that and just straight come straight out. Essentially what Mitchell is going to do is right where his hand is is where he wants the exhaust pipe to come straight out. It'll be kind of like a uh, GT2 RS style looking exhaust. It's not coming straight out of the bumper but right under it. Alright so as you can see this is like the little bracket that's kind of like on the car itself but it's like this little tray and then right here is where the two pieces of the exhaust actually go together. And then this little ring kind of clamp goes over top of the pipe, but then also mounts it onto the car itself. So now that I got those pretty much separated, all we have to do is just slide off the back half of the exhaust on each side. And that's pretty much all that holds it in. All right, here comes He-Man here. Oh, it's wiggling. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, that side. All right, that side's clear. I can't tell if it's really... Anything. There we go. That sounded really nice. Do you need me to help you? There we go. Oh, nice. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that's fully out. There it is. So this is actually stainless steel, and it was nice, shiny, chrome looking. And you see just from the heat, this X-pipe is just this nice gold color. All right, guys, Mitchell's going to go ahead and start the car with the resonator pipes and the X pipe off. We're going to see what it sounds like with absolutely nothing, just stock headers straight out. Is it cold start? What do you say, cold start? Um, the exhaust itself was pretty cold when I was handling yeah. it, so. I would say cold start on the 91S, just stock headers straight out. No muffler, no nothing. Here it goes. So then that rattling, so where the, pretty much that bracket was, the exhaust coming out of the car itself was just kind of rattling against it because nothing's bolted in place. Uh, I think I see what, what it is. It's this. It's a little ring. Yeah, this one right there. Yeah, that was that rattling. So we gotta figure out what to do with this. And then all of this heat shielding, because when we put the new bumper on, mm. it's gonna be in the way. Well, I guess that was a warm engine. Uh, the exhaust pipes themselves are cold. Mm. But still, there's not much of an exhaust on the car currently, so yeah, that's insane. All right, so we just got back from AutoZone. Well, the first AutoZone had one of the things we needed, so we had to go to another one. But while I was actually checking out the register, it just started hailing. So Cameron looked out the window, was like, "Oh my gosh, it's hailing!" So we run out, jump in the car, and like race to like a gas station. Then we just pull over. But this storm that's going through is wild. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but when I was doing the initial fab speed in installation, it was like pouring down rain, the power was going out, it was just a mess. 
And now here we are messing with the exhaust again, and it's obviously raining, hailing, it's just wild. But what we had to stop at AutoZone for is a couple of tailpipe pieces. All right, so in addition to going to AutoZone, picking up what we needed, uh, we test fitted the new rear bumper, which everything fits great, we just need to wrap it. But the new exhaust is going to be out each side. Um, so just gonna stick the other one on, uh, mount it in there. This one just sitting there for now. So what we're gonna do is take the uh, Fab Speed exhaust tips, which are carbon fiber, they're super dirty. Um, we're actually gonna put these on the end of each side. So it still has the Fab Speed exhaust tips. And honestly, the pipe that goes over the arch is actually still original Fab Speed. So it's just a little bit different, but as you can see, the pipe's gonna be a lot shorter. We've got a lot more empty space underneath the bumper. And as you can see, it doesn't have the black trim like the bottom of this one had, kind of like the little diffuser thing. And it's super open and really high. So I'm actually having a, let's just say something may or may not get fabricated that's gonna fill in this whole middle section between the pipes. And they come down and then fill in that area a little bit. All right, so we kind of ran into our first big dilemma. The original bracket, as you can see, is very open and spaced out, whereas before, with the fab speed pipe coming off, this is actually down a lot further, and it was able to actually clamp together. So either I'm gonna need a larger bolt to go through here, because there's not enough threads on the top to put the nut on, or just get a new mount altogether. But as you can see, this is where the uh, exhaust goes over the rear axle, and it comes straight out the back. So normally, it had a curve about right here, and then it curved into the middle, and then it did the X-pipe and out. But you can definitely tell, this is gonna be a lot shorter, and it should be insanely loud. All right, so pretty much finished up for the night. Can't really do anything else, because it's already like 11.30. I don't wanna be out here in the garage all night long wrapped in this rear bumper. So, so we're just gonna pick it up back in the morning. And then we're just going to have to go get new brackets in the morning as well. But here's the progress so far. The pipes are just sitting on there. Um, it's going to look really good having these split pipes. And definitely how they're straight pipes. <laughs> right, so I'm about to start it up. Back it all the way back into the garage so we can get it closed for tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and hand the camera off to Cameron. And he's going to film another, I guess, startup on it. With the pipes actually on it. Ooh. All right guys, so here's another startup on a 981S. You're all good. Alright, so here it is the next morning, and we had to run to AutoZone because the current brackets are not big enough, so you either needed new brackets or longer bolts, which got longer bolts, so hopefully this will work. Um, as you can see, you got the pipes on. There's Cameron. Okay. guys. Uh, so it's going to be, like, I just did a cold start, and it sounds insane. It has some crazy pops. So we're pretty much going to throw everything on, and then just go take it for a drive and see how it sounds. All right, so now they have the new bolt on the bracket with the uh, new nut. I'm just pretty much going to tighten it down, and that's going to hold the pipe that goes on right out the back of the car. All right, so just got the bracket pretty much secured on there nice and tight. The bolt's a little bit long, but honestly, I don't care. It's going to be under the car. Nobody's going to see it. It's just a lot easier to work on. Um, so now we got this mounted on with this pipe. We're going to go to the other side, do the same thing. And then once both of them are on, we're going to be able to take it out on the well, Gonna add like the lights back in, license plate, backup lights, that kind of stuff. Then we're gonna take it on the road and do a test drive and see how it sounds. I assume it's gonna be insane already hearing what a cold start sounds like in the garage, but it just looks so good having a pipe on each side instead of the central exhaust. And I have not seen it, but this may be the first Cayman in the world with a split exhaust like this. All right, so now I've got both exhaust pipes on, which that looks absolutely insane seeing both those come out like that all right so we just got the car put back together got the new rear bumper on got the, like license plate backup light all the lights spoiler all the good stuff so now it's actually ready to go on the road so here's the first test drive with the new crazy straight pipe split exhaust on a 981 came in s
All right, guys, what's up? I'm back. So this is the first official test drive with the new exhaust, and just sitting at idle, it just it sounds incredible. So we'll definitely see how it sounds on the road. But we're gonna start off in just normal mode, then we're gonna throw it in sport, and then when it gets a little bit warmer, sport plus, and yeah, hopefully it'll sound amazing. I'm so excited for you, man. Oh, yeah, let's, let's go. Let's do it. All right, just threw it into sport mode, and uh, here we go. Intimidating, that's honestly. Straight out, that's sinister. <laughs> oh my gosh. How what high was that? Four thousand? quieter. Before I had this low pitch hum that was kind of like, it almost felt like pressure in your ears. And now it, it doesn't have that. It's a lot higher pitch, so it's, I enjoy it a lot more actually. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that was a... <laughs> Dude! <laughs> what the heck was that? his exhaust yeah so all right so for right now i'm actually just gonna leave the exhaust exactly how it is these pipes are a little bit too small to actually put the fab speed exhaust tips back on so for now this is how it's gonna stay it's not gonna be like maybe like a day or two but in case i don't get to it in time it'll be in the next video but if you enjoyed this video definitely go down hit that like button down below tell me what you think of the new exhaust like i absolutely love it it's insane just let me know what you think about it and uh, if you want to see more videos like this or want to see the continuation of the exhaust and how it gets, definitely go down and hit the subscribe button. But as always, thank you for watching.